Welcome to EcoSub's YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Ian Vincent and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the EcoSub Micro 5 AUV. This is a fully autonomous underwater vehicle rated to 500 metres. Uh, the vehicle itself weighs about 4 kilograms. It is light as a feather. Uh, for launch and recovery, this is an incredibly simple vehicle to work with. You can literally drop it in over the side and uh, to recover, uh, either grab it by hand or you can just use a boat hook to, uh, to lift it up out of the water. Uh, very, very simple vehicle to work with. Uh, yeah, using autonomous systems doesn't get much easier than this. Uh, the vehicle itself, if you notice so far, uh, ignoring that little magnetic switch cover that we've got there, uh, doesn't have any sticky outy bits. Uh, this is because the vehicle was designed specifically for tube launch applications. Uh, so we got rid of all the stuff that you'd normally see along the sides, antennas that stick upright, and uh, and also uh, fins for pitch control. What we've done instead is integrated a internal moving mass uh, which drives itself forward to allow the nose to go heavy and uh, the vehicle to dive down, and then it drives back, turns the vehicle up, and when it's sat right at the back, the vehicle will come up uh, almost vertically, in fact. The beauty of that is obviously that we can have our antenna sticking out of the end like this, drop the mass forward, and the vehicle will actually sit on in surface mode with its antenna pointing out and the water line just about here. Uh, antennas have got GPS, which is obviously fairly, uh, fairly essential, uh, and also has Wi-Fi for short range communications and high bandwidth data transfer, and also Iridium SBD for full global coverage. Antennas also have a uh, flashing LED strobe and infrared lamps as well, so that we can actually uh, spot these things with infrared cameras if you uh, require to. Vehicles themselves are designed for relatively simple science missions. Typically, we see sensors integrated into the nose cone, and these things might be conductivity, temperature, uh, fluorimeter, dissolved oxygen, uh, possibly acoustics, so you could integrate a hydrophone into the nose of this uh, vehicle. And you can also see on this one we've got a nano modem, so this gives us underwater communications, acoustic communications. Uh, the way we actually use these vehicles a lot is as surface nodes uh, to talk to our vehicles underwater. So these will sit and uh, basically maintain their position using a, uh, a stay in circle behaviour. And uh, we'll basically take GPS and then broadcast position information via the modem underwater. Uh, our underwater vehicles can then receive this and triangulate their position from, uh, from the reference locations these vehicles give them, uh, which is really cool. Uh, have a, people are very interested in using them as gateway nodes, so actually using these vehicles underwater to pass messages, uh, uh, kind of daisy chaining that information along from one asset to another via, via these vehicles. So quite a lot of applications we can use them for. Endurance is typically around about eight hours per, per emission. Uh, they use primary alkaline uh, batteries, uh, so simple D cells, which are really low cost and easy to transport as well. So uh, as a plus, you can take this uh, on an aircraft with you. Uh, it can go obviously in the uh, in the checked luggage compartment, and you don't have any kind of flight restrictions with uh, with battery chemistries that are uh, slightly unsavoury. Uh, I don't think what else to say really. It's a neat little package, uh, ideal for multiple system deployments. So, you know, don't think one vehicle, think 10 vehicles. Uh, think rapid environmental assessment. Think going out to find a particular target, sticking lots of vehicles out there at the same time and, uh, and doing that work very, very quickly. Uh, great little system, uh, very low cost. You know, this uh, is nowhere near the type of values that you would talk about for, for normal kind of traditional AUV technologies, uh, it's totally unique. Comes with a really easy to use uh, graphical user interface, so a, a, a GUI that, uh, that we provide. Uh, that system allows you to build up missions and, uh, and download them to the vehicle very quickly, uh, interface with vehicle status, uh, you know, you can really kind of get uh, a lot from that system. Very, very simple to use. The idea is to make AUV technology as accessible as possible. We're really kind of keen to uh, enable to people to, to go out and use these systems easily. Uh, so science users out there, researchers, everybody can now 
pretty much afford uh, an autonomous underwater vehicle to go do their science with collecting data. Thank you very much. Uh, please click like and also subscribe to our channel to receive uh, notifications of anything else we post. Thank you very much.